Hi guys, it's Lady Bell here. We're back with another installment of Video Game Guides. The last video was a guide on how to play as Gardener from Identity 5 after her rework. Today, we're taking a trip to the Hunter's Faction as I'm going to share some tips and tricks about my main photographer. Photographer is a really unique and fun hunter to play as. And not to mention that he's pretty good looking too. Photographer is currently one of the stronger hunters, a mid high tier hunter in the meta, so it's not a bad choice to pick him in high tier ranks. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a like. If you would like to see more content from me, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for every new video that I upload. Without further ado, let's get started! We'll go through Photographer's external traits first. First is Camera World. Photographer's abilities center around taking pictures with his cameras that are scattered around the map. Every time Photographer takes a photo, he creates a dimension called the Camera World, where everything is replicated and becomes static, including survivors. Photographer and survivors can freely enter and exit the Camera World through the portals made by the cameras. The static survivors which are called images, in the camera world can be attacked and shared by photographer. Likewise, they can be healed by the real survivors. Survivors can also decode cipher machines in the camera world. However, the cipher machines can only be decoded for progress and cannot be fully decoded. Photographer can down and share real survivors in the camera world. But rocket chairs will not fly off. This is useful to prevent them from escaping and decoding. After the camera world collapses, chair survivors will return to their incapacitated state in front of the rocket chair, making it easier for photographer to chair them for real. It takes one minute before the camera world collapses. After it does, half of the changes made within it will be projected into the real world, which include damage dealt on survivors and the coding process. For example, if I were to share a survivor's image after the camera world collapses, that survivor will be incapacitated in the real world. There will be a 45 second cooldown before photographer can use the camera world again. Photographer's second trait is space time. Unlike other hunters, photographer's regular attacks deal 1.5 times the damage. When survivors sustain one attack by photographer, they won't be able to heal the 0.25 damage unless they're being healed by doctor or barmaid's doublin. So when photographer attacks them again, Despite the survivors already healed, his 0.75 damage attack instantly downs the survivors. His trick can be a great counter to Mercenary's Steel Wheel, where it only takes 2 hits to down him. Now, let's talk about Photographer's abilities. First is Recorded Moment. After reaching level 1 presence, Photographer can use this ability to freely enter and exit the camera world without going through the camera portals. This makes it a lot easier to ambush survivors from behind. After reaching level 2 presence, Photographer will be granted Time Jump. Hold the button to return to any point within the last 15 seconds. This can be a great counter for survivors who are looping. It can also be useful to bait survivors to rescue their chair teammates because you can return to the position in front of the chair instantly. Here's a very useful tip that is not mentioned in the game. After pressing the time jump button, the game's camera will face the nearest survivor. So when you've lost a survivor during a chase, press time jump to face the direction where the survivor has headed. I will reveal more tips using time jump later in the video. Photographer is very versatile with his secondary skill. You can pick abnormal, teleport, patroller, or peepers according to your playstyle. I personally use Blink as it can help me pass through walls and pallets, making it faster to down survivors. Excitement is only recommended when standards are on the survivor's team. This is the persona build that I use for photographer. I go down to get attention. It is very much recommended for every hunter to have detention. My first photographer persona build didn't have detention because if survivors had 0.75 injury before the last cipher is popped and they have borrowed time, they will still end up with 0.25 injury after all cyphers have been decoded, making them a one shot. However, this will not always happen and if survivors are uninjured, 
or have 0.5 or 0.25 injury beforehand, then they will not be a one-shot. I find it a lot easier and less stressful with tension, since it will be a confirmed one-shot no matter the state of survivors. Every hunter should have tinnitus. Tinnitus alerts you if there are survivors in the area. The tinnitus radius of a hunter is 36 meters, while their fear radius is 32 meters, except for calm geisha and those with restraint. Use this to your advantage. When tinnitus lights up, go into the camera world so survivors will not detect you by your fear radius and try to ambush them as they are in that area. Try to ambush them at cypher machines as they are most likely decoding. I use the remaining points for level 2 berserker, restraint, wanted order, and to max out impact and street sweeper. Berserker really helps with camping a chair survivor. Berserker increases attack recovery speed. In addition with photographer's short attack recovery speed, you can hit the rescuer first and still have enough time to hit the rescued survivor. Restrain reduces your fear radius by 15%. Survivors won't know of your presence until you are very near to them, making it easier to fight a camera and ambush them using the camera world, without them knowing that you are near beforehand. Wanted Order outlines a random survivor after chairing the first survivor. This helps to alert you of incoming rescuers and you're still able to see them if they hide behind objects. You can also use the camera world to ambush highlighted survivors who are decoding or healing. This varies for different people. In my opinion, Impact and Street Sweeper maxed out works well for Photographer. He relies a lot on hitting survivors' photo images, causing them to be injured in the real world. Their teammates may try to heal them. With Impact, their healing speed will decrease and gives you more time to catch the injured survivors. Street Sweeper reveals survivors for healing, making it easier to find the survivors. That's all for Photographer's traits, abilities, and persona build. Now, I'm going to show some gameplay as Photographer and reveal the tips and tricks that I use when playing as him. Right as the match starts, quickly find your camera and immediately take a picture. And make sure that you keep the camera world on as much as possible throughout the match. This prevents cypher rushing because the coding process will be reduced to half after the camera will collapses. You can ambush survivors who are decoding ciphers by rushing out through the camera portal into the real world and immediately pressing the attack button. That way, it's possible that you might get a terror shot or at least catch survivors off guard. This is especially easy if the camera is placed right next to the cypher machine. Once you've achieved level 1 presence, ambushing survivors will be a lot easier by using recorded moment. Stand near the cypher machine and press the recorded moment button, then immediately press attack. This tip is not exclusive to survivors who are decoding. You can also ambush survivors who are healing. Sometimes, survivors' images will reveal that they are healing. Use the same method for decoding survivors. Stand next to the healing images and press recorded moment. Then, quickly press attack and if you are lucky, you might terror shock the healer or down the injured survivor. After all 5 ciphers have been decoded, you can try to ambush the survivors who are opening the gate. If camera world is available, take a picture and go to the gate where survivors are heading. Announcement highlights survivors for 5 seconds after all 5 ciphers have been decoded, making your job easier. Stand next to the passcode lock and do the same method with recorded moment. Here's a trick that I learned, and it works for survivors who are waiting at the gate. Go to the gate in the camera world. The camera world's gates are always closed, unfortunately, so all you can do is stand in front of it. Then, use recorded moment to jump out of the camera world. Quickly launch forward and press attack. If you have the tension, survivors who are hit will instantly go down. Some survivors might wait outside the gate. If they try to escape, Try to hit them. It's a hit or miss and you may have to rely a bit on luck, but it's better than nothing. Survivor's images can help you with a lot of things. If you find a survivor's image in the camera world, there's a high chance that they are in that area in the real world, especially if there's a cypher machine nearby. Don't hit the image yet because it might alert the survivor. If you can't find a survivor in the real world, then go back to the camera world and hit the image once if you haven't reached level 2 presence, therefore, they will be a one shot throughout the match. If you've already obtained time jump, then incapacitate the image and share it. After the camera will collapses, use time jump to find a survivor. 
Even if we can't, at the very least, it wastes time for the survivors to decode. If a survivor is looping you, hold time jump until the light circle on the ground reaches near the survivor and let go. That way, you'll be teleported near the survivor and can attack. If you decide to have a confined space in Photographer's Persona build, every time you bolt a window and it gets blocked by boards of wood, you can use time jump to return to the position on the other side of the wall. This helps to catch survivors who are trying to escape. Time jump also helps you to get to places where you can't vault back through the window, even if confined space isn't present, such as the hospital windows from Sacred Heart Hospital. Another way you can use time jump is to bait survivors to rescue their chair teammates. Stand near the rocket chair and walk away when tinnitus lights up. While walking, hold time jump until the light circle reaches the chair and let go. If the rescuer is nearby, you'll be able to hit them. And if you're lucky, you might get a terror shot. This trick also works when you enter the camera world, and it might be more effective. Full time jump and enter the camera world through a portal. The rescuer might think that you've left and go for the rescue. Let go of time jump and you'll be transported back into the real world. Therefore, the rescuer will be caught off guard and you'll be able to jump them. Right after sharing a survivor, immediately take a picture if camera world is available. This is to make sure that the survivor's image will also be shared. So, if the survivor is rescued, they will be in an incapacitated state after camera world collapses. Said survivor or their teammates may try to rescue the image too, so watch out for that. Now, let's talk about which survivors can count a photographer and survivors that are counted by him. These survivors are counters to photographer, doctor and barmaid to a lesser degree, are heart counters to photographer. Currently, they are the only survivors who can heal 0.25 injuries. Both have their pros and cons. Doctor may have a harder time to heal if being chased by photographer, but barmaid can mix herself or her teammates Doblin, which allows them to be healed while kiting the hunter. However, doctor is actually more of a threat as barmaid can only use up two of her Doblins to heal, while doctor can infinitely heal herself and her teammates. The best way to count a doctor and barmaid as photographer is to try eliminate them as soon as possible. If doctor and or barmaid are on the survivor's team, try to make them your second priority. Decoders like Maisai and Mechanic should always be your first priority of course. While she's in doctor and she tries to heal herself, impact can help increase the time for her to heal. If you find doctor and barmaid's photo images, just down and share them. Hitting them once will only give them a short time to fully heal. If their images are shared, then it'll incapacitate them and waste their time to decode. Explorer isn't that much of a problem and he only soft counters photographer. A good explorer might shrink himself and hide right before you take a picture, making it significantly harder to find his image. Other than that, explorer doesn't cause much problems to photographer and it mostly happens at the start of the match. Your best way of countering him is to frequently and unpredictably take photos so he doesn't have enough time to hide. Light Explorer Perfumer soft counters photographer but is more annoying than explorer. Right before the camera world collapses, if her image is injured, she can spray her perfume and return back to her previous uninjured state after the camera world collapses. However, this can also be detrimental to perfumer as it wastes her perfumes. She won't have any for rescuing or kiting, so it's a double-edged sword for her. It's up to you. You can either hit her image once normally, if level 2 presence hasn't been achieved yet, and make her waste her perfume, or you can down and share the image, making perfumer incapacitated and waste her decoding time.
These are the survivors that can be counted by Photographer. Photographer is a hard counter to Mercenary. Photographer's space time enables him to down Mercenary with only two hits. With detention, Mercenary will also go down instantly with one blow, making it a lot riskier for rescues after all ciphers have been decoded. Photographer soft counters Embalmer. If you share a survivor that has been embalmed, quickly take a picture right before the survivor is resurrected. The image of that survivor will be shared and will incapacitate said survivor after camera work collapses. However, the reason photographer only soft counters Embalmer is that it's possible that the embalmed survivor will be very far away when resurrected, and they'll try to hide. Time Jump helps to counter this, giving them time for teammates to heal them. Teammates can also rescue the shared image to prevent them from getting down. Before I end this video, I'm going to give tips on how to counter photographer as the average survivor. Yes, you heard me right. I mean, what is an ultimate photographer guide if you only learn how to play as him? Specific survivors have specific roles that can counter photographer like the ones I've mentioned just now. But these tips are quite useful for the average survivor. Right as the match starts, hide somewhere secluded before photographer takes a photo. That way, your image won't be easily found by him. Closets are the best places to hide your image, and a photographer won't detect it, unless for some reason he decides to randomly open closets, which will just waste his time. If you're injured with 0.5 damage, and so is your image, do not heal yourself unless you plan to heal your image as well. If you've fully healed yourself, but your image still has 0.5 injury, you'll be left with unhealable 0.25 injury. It's recommended that you heal your image first, just in case the camera world collapses before you have time to heal yourself. Do not decode cyber machines that are close to camera portals, especially at the beginning of the match. The average photographer will try to terror shot you by ambushing you to these portals. Also be on the lookout, just in case photographer exits the camera world through a portal that is further from the cyber machine. When photographer obtains recorded moment, he can appear out of nowhere. If camera world is up, always watch your back when decoding. Actually, always watch your back when you're doing anything at all. Survivors who are waiting at the gate make the mistake of letting their guard down. Photographer can appear right next to them and down them instantly if he has the tension on. That's all the tips I have. I want to give a shout out to my friends Daviluen123, Rayasita, and Lavender Flame for helping me out to get footage for Embalmer, Doctor, Perfumer, and Barmaid. Thanks a lot! Share your thoughts on Photographer in the comment section below. Do you have any tips that you want to share? What is your playstyle when you play as Photographer? Thank you for watching! Flower.